Hey guys. All right, so you've been asking. You're bored and you're missing your Pilates, so here we go. I'm gonna give you a little bit here. <clears throat> Hope you enjoy it. Hope you're doing okay at home, staying well. Let's do some Pilates. <clears throat> all right, legs are wide. I'm just gonna start with stretching, which we probably all need. Working at home, staying at home, not going out much. We're gonna flex those feet. Left hand's gonna go down that left leg, right arm up and over, nice stretch. Loosen those knees if those hamstrings are a bit tight. <clears throat> Good, we're gonna bring that back to the center, right over to the other side. <clears throat> Good, bringing that back to the center. We're gonna go straight out. Again, loosen those knees if those hamstrings are tight. <clears throat> Hopefully you have your sanitizer close. This is going to feel good. <clears throat> good. Bring it up. We're going to bring it into Indian style. Hips down nice and tall. Left hand back. Right hand to the front of that opposite knee. Draw that belly button into that spine. And then back to the center. Over to the other side. Nice stretch. <clears throat> And back to the center. We're going to walk those hands out, stretch it through those hips, through that low back. You can see I'm not going to the nail salon. Chris doesn't want me to get their germs or give them mine. Really bad. But that's all good. <laughs> good. Go ahead and come out of that stretch. We're going to take it to one side. And we're going to move into our clam series. And this is Stephanie Hample's favorite. <laughs> so we want our legs bent. We want our Heels to be right out from our hips, so just lift those feet up, make sure that's where they're at, and then take them back down. We want to make sure our hips are nice and stacked. This first one's just going to be a really small movement, so we're just going to keep the heels together. We're going to open that top leg, keeping those hips nice and aligned, and back down. Inhale, lift, exhale, squeeze back together, keep drawing that belly button in, keep that top shoulder facing up to the sky, not dropping back or forward. Just relaxed with those feet, so we're not pointing or flexed. And then if you want to rest, that head, if you have any strain with the neck, bottom arm can go out, just take that head down. <clears throat> Again, focus on keeping those hips stacked, so you want to make sure you're not pulling that bottom hip off the floor and rocking back. <clears throat> Two more here. Good, last one. And then for the next set, we're just going to do that same thing, but we're going to take the feet off the floor, and again, that top leg is going to open, and squeeze back together, making that resistance, so push and pull. Press and squeeze. Press. Good. Bottom hips staying pressed down. Hips are still nice and aligned. We're able to open those legs wider with the feet lifted. <clears throat> Good. Two more here. And last one. We're going to stay open with that top leg and we're going to lift and we're going to come back in, pointing those toes. Lift up and back in. Reach it long and in. Bottom leg is just staying still. That bottom hip is pressed to the mat. <clears throat> Good, two more. And then last one here. And then we're gonna go ahead and squeeze those legs back together. We're gonna open back up and then we're gonna lift again. So just putting that together. Squeeze, open, lift. Nice and controlled. Squeeze, open, lift. You got it. Hopefully you're feeling those hips getting nice and warmed up. Two more here. Good, last one. And then we're slowly gonna bring those legs back to the floor. We still want that bent position, so make sure those heels are right up from your hips again. <clears throat> and then for this next one, we're gonna flex the feet slightly and that top leg's gonna come apart from that bottom leg. We're gonna lift and we're gonna come down. It's a small movement. You don't wanna go too big. You don't wanna take that leg too far back. You wanna keep those hips stacked. Nice and easy, up and down. That whole leg is strong, that foot's not flopping around. Core is engaged, upper body nice and open, not dropping forward or hunched over. <clears throat> Good, two more. And last one. Good, resting that leg down. <clears throat> and then next up, we're gonna lift that leg slightly again. Hips still nice and stacked, and we want to keep our leg in that bent position. We don't want to move around like a bicycle, so we're not going to straighten out. We want to stay bent. Imagine a ball out to the front. You want to take your knee up and around that ball. Moving from the hip, keeping that leg bent, really isolating through those hips. 
Hips stay stacked, core is engaged. Draw that belly button into that spine. Keep breathing here in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. Other direction, slow and control, really isolate. You got it, keep going. Push through that burn. Two more. And last one, rest that leg down. We're gonna take those legs straight out. And then pull that top leg in, give it a squeeze, stretch here, maybe drop it to the front, rub it out, keep it up. Maybe add a quad stretch, keeping that hip knee and ankle nice and aligned. Maybe just take it up, stretch here where you're comfortable. Good, now we're gonna stay on this side before we switch it over. Legs could be bent or they could be straight out, but those hips are stacked. Bottom arm, we're gonna wrap it around your body, give yourself a hug, top hand, press it right into the mat with that elbow high, crowning your head out to the wall. So your neck's nice and aligned with your spine, and we're gonna push up and control down. So we're gonna feel those triceps work as we press up. We're gonna feel those obliques working. If you wanna challenge a bit, you could add that top leg lifting up and control down. Up, focus on that control as we come down. Keep drawing that belly button into that spine. Good. If the legs are bent, you're doing the same thing, just up and down without doing that top leg. You could always make it a smaller press if you need to. Let's do four more. Up. And up. Controlling down two more. You got it, last one. Good, go ahead and bring those knees in. We're just gonna bring it on up. We're gonna take that right over to the other side. Grab a quick drink if you need it. It's warm in here. All right, so clam series on this side as well. Again, legs are bent. Lifting those feet up to make sure those heels are right up from the hips and then take that back down. Hips are nice and stacked. Top hand to the front, upper body nice and open, not dropping back or forward. Heels together, feet relaxed. Open and close, just that small press. So again, not opening too much, but that top hip's going back and that bottom hip's coming off the floor. Just a small controlled movement. Imagine those exercise bands around the legs to help with that resistance. Making that resistance yourself. Press and squeeze. Press and squeeze. Good. That's my husband dropping his water bottle. What are you doing? I got some, thanks. He's trying to give me water. Last one here. Next up, we're gonna take those feet right off the floor. Top leg, open and close. Press and squeeze. We were talking on the way here that he might not make it through this quarantine. Vacation every day together. Now we're home every day together. Just not sure he's gonna make it. I'm sure he's listening through that door. Open and squeeze. Open and squeeze. Hips still nice and stacked. Just kidding, Chris, I love you. One more. We're gonna stay open on this one. We're gonna take that top leg, point the toes, lift, and back in. Nice and controlled, hips are still stacked. Bottom leg staying where it is. That bottom hip is down. Remember that bottom arm can go out if you wanna rest that head. <clears throat> Good. Feeling those hips warming up on this side. Two more. Good, we're gonna put that together now. So we're gonna squeeze it back together, open it back up, lift it, and pull it in. Squeeze, open, lift. Squeeze, open, lift. You got it. <clears throat> Keep going, pushing through that burn. Nice controlled movements. Two more here. And last one. Good, slowly gonna bring those knees back together, feet back to the floor. And then again, make sure we have that good form, heels out from the hips, hips nice and stacked. We're gonna flex the feet slightly. And then we're going back to that top leg lifting and controlling down. So not too high, not opening too far back. Wanna keep those hips stacked. Upper body, remember, nice and open, not slouching forward with that shoulder at all. <clears throat> That foot is strong, that, that whole leg is strong. We're not flopping around with that foot at all. 
controlled movements. Go ahead, give me two more. And last one. Good, rest it down. <clears throat> and then again, next one, we're gonna stay bent. Top leg's gonna lift slightly. Remember, we don't wanna do a big bicycle circle. We're not gonna open all the way up. We just wanna lift, stay bent, move from the hip. Imagine that ball out to the front and take that knee up and around that ball, nice and slow and controlled. Leg is strong again. Foot's not bouncing around. The whole leg is strong, just up and around. Hips staying stacked right on top of each other. Good, keep breathing here. In through your nose, out through your mouth. You got it, should be feeling those hips. I'm sure you are. Other direction, slow and controlled. Don't speed it up. Really isolating. You got it, we love this series. So good. Two more. And last one. Good, rest that down. Take those legs out, top leg, bring it in. Give it a squeeze again and stretch here where you're comfortable. Maybe straight up, maybe out to the front. Drop it out, rub it out, beat it up. <clears throat> Add that quad stretch if that feels good. Hips, knee, ankle nice and aligned. Come that way up here. <clears throat> good, now we're gonna stay on this side for those tricep presses here. So again, legs could be bent, hips are still stacked, or legs straight out there so that body's in a straight line. Bottom arm wrap around your body, give yourself that hug. Top hand press to the floor, elbow high, crown of your head out to the wall so you're not lifting and you're not dropping. And then we're gonna press up and control down. So again, we're feeling those triceps, feeling those obliques, control as we come down. So make sure you're not dropping. If you need to do a smaller press, that's okay too. You could stay a little lower. Good, up and down, lift. Again, adding that top leg if you wanna challenge a bit. Up at the same time as the upper body, down at the same time as the upper body. Nice and controlled. It's not a high lift. <clears throat> up, down, up, and down. Keep going. You got it. Four more. Lift, and lift. Two more. And last one. Good. Pull those knees in. Bring it on up. We're gonna go ahead and into a stretch. So we're gonna take those knees and open them up. Hips back to those heels. Arms out. Press those palms down. Little piece of heaven. Just stretch it out here. Should feel good. Might want to shimmy side to side in those hips a bit. Ooh, it is getting warm in here. <laughs> good, go ahead and come out of that stretch and we're gonna to come to all fours. Wrist under your shoulders, knees under those hips. Nice strong flat back so you're not arching or rounding. Eyes towards the front edge of your mat. So you wanna make sure you're not dropping that head. We're gonna start on that left side. We're gonna bring that knee in. We're gonna reach and lengthen, lift and squeeze. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, reach long. Nice controlled movements. If you need to, you could be on the forearms here too. That feels better for your wrists. Good. Nice and controlled. Lift and squeeze those glutes. Now we're not trying to do this big movements, arching the back, rounding, slow and controlled. Head's not moving at all. Four, three, two more. Last one, we're gonna hold it out there and we're gonna pulse it up. Little presses, long through those toes. You got it. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna keep that leg there, flex that foot, squeeze it in, reach back up, squeeze and reach. Again, you're making that resistance, so make it work. Pull and push. Squeeze, squeeze. Don't give up, you can do it. Four, three, two more. This last one, we're gonna hold it bent and we're gonna point and we're gonna come to the forearms. And then we're resting about hip level with that leg. That's as low as we wanna come with this leg. We wanna keep it bent and we're gonna push high. Rest just back to hip level. Press, rest just to hip level. So these are slow and controlled. Really gonna feel that booty. Up, up, gonna feel that supporting leg as well. Up, good, you got it. Keep that core engaged, nice and strong. Here's four and three. Make sure you're not dropping that head. 
Last one, hold it high, stay bent and push, 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 push. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that down. Ooh, hope you're feeling that. Bring it back up to those hands. <clears throat> We're gonna do that same, same series on the other side. Right leg, pull in, reach and lengthen, lift and squeeze. Inhale, bring it in, exhale, reach and lengthen. Again, no movement with that upper body. Reach, long, point those toes. <clears throat> Eyes towards the front edge of that mat. Remember, we're not dropping that head, we're not looking straight out. Strong through the center of your body. Forearms if you need to is fine, so you could be down here doing the same thing. <clears throat> Four, and three, and two. Last one, hold it up, again, those little pulses up. Up, up, up. Long through those toes, lengthening. Engage that core, zip that belly, pull it in. Two more, keep that leg there, flex that foot, squeeze in, reach long. Squeeze and press, squeeze, squeeze. Keep making that resistance. Good, pull it in, press it away, pull it in, press it away, four. Three, two more, and then we're going to those forearms. Last one, stay bent, point the toes. Come to those forearms if you're not already there. Again, resting at hip level, and then taking that leg higher. Rest back to hip level, push. We wanna keep that bend, really target those glutes. Still wanna make sure we're not dropping that head, eyes towards the front edge of your mat. Up, up. Slow and controlled, push, push. Four, three, two, and last one. Stay high and pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. We're gonna go back to a little piece of heaven and stretch that out. Arms up, press those palms down. If you feel like you wanna release in the shoulder a bit, just take those arms back. <clears throat> A few deep breaths here, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, go ahead and come out of that stretch. We're gonna take those legs out to the front. We're gonna start with the toes down, arms up to the front, and then we're just gonna alternate a leg lift. We're gonna bring the arms up at the same time and back down. So you're just balanced on that toe, lifting tall with those arms, keeping that chest open. Inhale, lift, exhale, control down. Keep that core engaged. Maybe you just need to come to tabletop with the leg, that's okay too. So whatever feels better for you, just lift it to where you can. Focus on those controlled movements. Good. One more time on each side. Good. We're going to take that to Indian style, and we're going to walk those hands out and just take a rest here. It's going to feel nice in the hips, nice in that low back. Grabbing that drink anytime you need it. <clears throat> Hopefully you have some music on. That will help with this workout. <clears throat> Good. Go ahead and come out of that stretch. We're going to take those legs long. Arms out to the front, we're gonna slowly come down, one vertebrae at a time, arms over your head, reach and lengthen and stretch it out. Long through those fingertips, long through those toes. <clears throat> Point and flex, get a stretch in the back of those legs. We're gonna bring those arms beside you. We're gonna go ahead and bring those feet to the mat so those legs are bent open to hip distance. Nice and open with that chest, strong through those shoulders. You don't wanna push down with the hands too hard. So if you feel like you're doing that, turn those palms up or in. We're gonna push through those heels and lift up to a shoulder bridge. So again, strong through the shoulders, feet below the knees, not back behind the knees. Don't wanna come up too high and arch that back. <clears throat> and we're gonna start, start your alternating sides. We're gonna move from the hip with a bent leg and we're gonna come up and we're gonna come down. Other side, lift and lower. So leg is staying bent, we're moving from the hip. Inhale, bring that up, exhale, control it down. Good. We're coming down soft with that toe first and then that heel. You got it. 
focus on keeping those hips steady, nice and aligned. If you just need to hold that basic bridge right here, that's okay too. Otherwise, you're just gonna keep going one side to the other. One more time on each side. Last one here. Good, now for the next one, we're just gonna stay light on the toes. We're gonna lower and we're gonna lift up, squeeze those glutes. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Nice and easy. Almost coming all the way down to the ground and then up and squeeze. <laughs> We're gonna stay up on this next one, and we're just gonna press the knees out and squeeze back in. Out and in. Make that resistance again. Imagine those exercise bands around the legs. Resist. Press out, squeeze in, keep that core strong. Zip it up, pull it in. You got it. <clears throat> All my regulars, you know these. <clears throat> Hopefully I'm getting some people who don't get to do my class very often, so that's nice. Do it at your own pace, your own time, whatever works for you. <clears throat> Four more. And two more. And then last one here. We're gonna put that together now. So we're gonna go down first, still light on those toes. We're gonna lift, we're gonna press wide and squeeze back in. So down, up, out, in. Down, up, out, in. Keep resisting, keep that control. Long neck, eyes on the ceiling. We'll pretend it's the beach. We'll pretend there's sun up there. <clears throat> Good, four more. Down, up, out, in, three. Nice and controlled. Strong core, two. And last one. Good. So we're back to our basic bridge, light on the toes. And then we're going to take that left side, that left leg, we're going to lift up, bent again, with your knees decked right over the hip. We're going to hold that, and then we're going to sink and press up. Sink it down and push. Down, up, down, up. Good. Inhale down, exhale, lift. Keep that lifted leg strong. You got it. Four more. Up, up, two more. Last one, hold it. And then we're gonna stay here, holding. We're gonna stay lifted and we're gonna tap that toe. Lift it back up, bent. Tap, lift with the knees back right over the hip. Good. Feeling that supporting leg work in. Good. You got it, four more. <laughs> Remember, if you need to be in your basic bridge, you could be there, two more. Don't have to add on with us, last one here. Good, holding it up, we're just gonna slowly bring that down. Find your center, make sure that core is engaged. <clears throat> right side, take it up, bent, knee stacked over the hip, and then again down and lift. Inhale down, exhale, push. Pushing through that left heel, light on those toes. Remember, just holding that basic bridge if that feels better for you. You could even have both feet down and go up and down. <clears throat> Good, four, three, two more. Last one, again, we're gonna hold it up there. We're gonna stay lifted and we're gonna add that tap and lift. So holding that bridge, slow control, tap and lift, keeping that core engaged. Exhale, tap, inhale, bring that up. Chest open, strong through those shoulders, four more. And three, you got it, two more. And last one, hold it up, slowly back down, back to that basic bridge. And now we're just gonna hold that bridge and we're gonna take those arms nice and strong and reach them over and then pull that back in and press towards the floor. Inhale, reach it long, exhale, pull that in, press. Good, so lower body's just holding that bridge. Reach it and back in, press. Good, I wish I could see all your pretty faces. <clears throat> Inhale, reach, exhale, and press. Good, two more. Last one here, nice strong arms. Pull in and press, press all the way to the mat. And then we're gonna slowly come down, top of that spine, all the way to the bottom. And then we're gonna bring that left foot to your right knee. Grab behind that right leg and just pull in and stretch it out. 
If it feels more comfortable, you could extend one leg and just pull that knee towards your chest. Should feel good. And switching that to the other side. Good, nice stretch. Good, let's reduce that nice and long. Arms over your head, lengthen. A few deep breaths here in through your nose, out through your mouth, point and flex. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try to pull this next one up to a full teaser. So you have some options. If you wanna modify this one, you could do a single alternating leg. So you could be here. So you're just lifting the head and shoulders back down, belly button pulled in, strong arms right by the hips, lifted leg as straight as you can keep it right back over your head. Same thing with the other leg. So this would be your modification if you want it. If you want a challenge, we're gonna squeeze those legs together. We're gonna to bring it all the way up. You could either come to tabletop here and back down nice and controlled, or you could bring that all the way up to that full teaser with those straight legs. You could even hold on if you need to, and then slowly back down. Good, so whatever works for you. That single leg, tabletop, or straight up. If you're going up with both legs, just make sure those legs are squeezed together. Tabletop, slowly back down. Straight up with those legs. Slowly back down. Inhale, scoop that belly. Exhale, lift it up. That slight pause at the top and then slowly back down. Good, so maybe you stay at the bottom a little longer. Take longer rest, that's okay. There he is again. Good. So four more here, and we're gonna hold up on our last one. So if you're doing that single leg, you'll just hold that single leg, and then I'll tell you when to switch two more. Last one here, let's hold it up. So if you're doing that single leg, stay there. You could hold on again if you need to. Tabletop here if you need to. Keep that chest lifted and open, don't wanna slouch. Switch if you're doing that single leg, make sure that core is engaged, draw that belly button into that spine. Chest lifted and open, no slouching. Almost there. Good, slowly back down. Arms over your head, reach and lengthen and stretch out that body. Point and flex again. A few deep breaths in through your nose, up through your mouth. Should be nice and warm through that body. Good. We're going to bring those arms up, and we're going to scoop through that belly, peel yourself off the mat, and we're just going to reach it over those legs and take a stretch. Again, grab that quick drink if you need it. I'm going to take one too, and then we're going to move into some plank again. Knees under those hips, wrists under those shoulders, and we're gonna tuck those toes. And we're gonna do our all fours plank. So we're just gonna lift and hover. So eyes again into the front edge of your mat so we're not dropping that head. You're gonna feel those quads warm up a bit here, more than when you're doing that straight leg plank. If you need to rest, you could just come back down, come back into it when you're ready. Keep that core nice and engaged. Not dropping that head. And then we're all gonna go ahead and press back to down dog. So we're gonna stretch, pressing those heels back towards the floor, head between your arms, stretch here. Should feel good. <clears throat> and then we're gonna come right back into that all fours plank. So we wanna come down, knees right under the hips again, wrist back under the shoulders. So adjust that as you need to. And just hold. And you'll start to feel those quads warm up a bit more for the second set. Keep breathing, might start to feel a little shake, shake, shake. <clears throat> and then again, let's press back to that down dog stretch. Again, should feel good back here. And then we're gonna come back into that all fours plank, hovering, you got it. Remember any time right your knees could go down, take that break if you need to. 
Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, knees are gonna go down, hips back to those heels, stretching a little piece of heaven. Again, shimmy side to side in those hips if you wanna take it side to side a little bit deeper. <clears throat> Good, out of that stretch. So we're gonna go back to that all fours start position for that plank. Knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders, tuck those toes, and then go back to that hover to start. And then we wanna hold that plank position. So we don't wanna be going up and down, moving all around. We wanna hold that plank position, walking the legs out one at a time to that straight plank, and then we're gonna walk it back in. So out, out, in, in. Knees under the hips as you come in. Good. And again, if this is too much, you could just be holding a plank. You could bring those knees in and instead of hover, take a rest with the knees down. You could be on the forearms planking if that feels better for your wrist. <clears throat> Keep that core engaged. Nice and strong. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. You guys are the best. Keep going. Two more. In, in, out. Out, last one. And hold that straight leg plank. Maybe push back and forth with those heels, press towards the back edge of the mat. Pop forward. Good. And then we're gonna press back to down dog again. Stretch. <laughs> and then we're gonna add a little stretch here. So we're gonna take that left leg up. And then we're gonna come down, bring that leg through, foot comes to the inside of your body. Back leg's just gonna straighten down. And we're gonna come to a pigeon stretch. So you can hang out here in the forearms. You can collapse all the way out. Should feel nice. Just hanging out here for a second. Maybe thinking about what fun you're gonna do at home tonight when you're quarantined. I'm sure there's a bottle of wine with my name on it. Hopefully yours too. I can bring one over if you're out. I have a few from my birthday. All right, back out of that stretch. Wrist under those shoulders. Let's go back out to our plank. And then we're gonna press back to down dog. And take that right leg and lift it up. And then again, we're gonna come down, swing that leg through, straighten that back leg down. And then again, come to the forearms. That foot remembers to the inside of your body. And keep your hips square to your mat. Hang it out on those forearms, or again, you could collapse. Hang out here. <clears throat> Good, we're almost there. Good. Go ahead and come out of that stretch. And we're gonna go ahead and face the front. Actually, I'm gonna face the side so you can see what's going on. So I'll be here. <clears throat> Maybe I'll change directions so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. <clears throat> so we're gonna keep the toes down if you need to, but if you can challenge, I want you to take them up. And then I want you to make sure you're not slouching. So if you need the hands on the legs, take them there. Otherwise you could be here. And then we're just gonna hold to start. So just holding, keep that core engaged, chest lifted and open. Again, toes down if that feels better, but keep those knees squeezing so we really can engage that inner thigh. And then from here, whether you're lifted or down, we're gonna open the knees, keep the feet together, heels together, and then squeeze back in. So we're gonna press out and in. So we're opening and pulling back in. Open and in. I'll face the front, keep going, show you here what we're doing. Out and in. Out and in. Out, in. So feet are relaxed, heels are together. Again, if you're holding on, that's great. If you need to be back here, that's okay too. Keep your chest lifted and open, no slouching. Again, really gonna engage the inner and outer thighs here. Our very own thigh master. Taking it back to the 80s, maybe 90s. Four more. Out, out, two, last one. And then if you need to take a rest, take it. Otherwise, we're gonna try to stay up. And then for this one, we're gonna flex the feet. And then we're gonna open and pull in. Out and in, lifted. Lifted with that chest. Strong legs moving from the hip. Again, same thing, you could have the hands on the legs guiding, 
You could have the hands down. You could be back on the forearms. Strong legs, press and in. Strong core is engaged. Sipping it up. You got it. Four and three and two and last one. Good, we're gonna rest those legs. We're gonna come to Indian style. Walk those hands out and just take a stretch here. Good. We're gonna go ahead and come out of that stretch. Legs are gonna go back to the front. <clears throat> so if you need to, if you could stay down and you could modify this one as we alternate sides. Otherwise, we're gonna try to lift. So if you're modifying, you're gonna lean back with the upper body, one leg extends, and then use that strong core to pull center. Other side and pull center. So just alternating, keeping that upper body nice and lifted and open, strong straight legs as you reach. If you can challenge, keep the legs up to tabletop, slightly open, nice and strong, and we're gonna lean it back and then pull it up. Lean it back and pull it up. Maybe you need to just hold on to the legs a little bit, that's okay too. Try to straighten that leg all the way out. And lift. Good. Long through those toes, pointing. <clears throat> Again, if you're modifying, go back to feet down. Alternate sides. Just take that upper body to where you're comfortable. Doesn't have to be very far. Don't want to strain that back. Good. We're going to try two more sets, whatever position you're in. <clears throat> Last time on each side. And then just hold center. Squeeze those legs together. Toes down if you need to. So you could be here. Lift it if you can. Hold on if you need to. Open if you can. Maybe take those arms higher if you can. Straighten the legs if you can. Little challenge here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna bring that to Indian style. Walk those hands out and take a nice stretch. Good, coming out of that stretch. Go ahead and take those legs long. Sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna draw that left foot in. Cross that left leg over. Use that right arm and really hug that knee to your chest. And you could just stay here. You could open that hand to the back. And open that up. Nice and tall. Gonna feel a nice stretch through the hip there. We worked them. <laughs> Good, go ahead and release that. And then that right foot's gonna come in. Take it over. Use that left arm. Really, again, hug that knee into that chest. Pull it in. Feel that nice stretch. Open up, nice and tall, a few deep breaths. Good, go ahead and release that. Both legs are out, flexing those feet. We're gonna inhale, take it all the way up. We're gonna exhale, reach it forward. Good, go ahead and bring that up. <clears throat> and take it to Indian style, facing the front. Just gonna stretch that neck a little bit. So just rest those arms. Could close your eyes if you want to. We're just gonna stay nice and tall, still engaged through that core. We're gonna take your left ear to that left shoulder. Good, back to the center, other side. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. No. Back to the center. And we're gonna go left ear back to that left shoulder and then we're gonna take it forward, roll it around. Up and around, nice and slow and controlled. I just made him leave, I didn't want him watching me. <laughs> Super weird. Good, pause at the top, just hold there. Nice and tall, engage that core. We're just gonna switch directions. Up and around, nice and controlled. Good, one more time here, and then when that chins to the chest, just hold it there. Still tall and engaged through your center. Good, back to the center. Arms to the side, we're just gonna take a nice deep breath. Inhale, and then we're gonna exhale, fold it forward. And then we're gonna stay here for another inhale. And then exhale, just try to take it a little bit deeper. 
Good. Bring that back up. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, fold that forward. Inhale again, stay here. Exhale, take that a bit deeper. And bring that back up. Oh, awesome job, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I think this was my first video class that I did on my own. I think Abby Harwood has taped me on her own before and saved it for her vacations, but I think this was the first time I did it alone. So thanks for joining, and maybe we'll do this again tomorrow. Love you guys.